Hi everyone, welcome to LN Campus. I am Sashikant. Today I am going to present you the new mobile service app in combination with ERPLN 10.5. To understand this topic better, you need to have knowledge on ERPLN service module to a certain extent. Ok, let's move on to our agenda. I will first give you the background about the importance of service function in any business and why this new app is really required. The business value that the mobile service app is going to add. The business requirements. Solution demo with a business example. And finally, we will recap what we have seen and learned and close this session. Before we discuss why this new app has been developed and its capabilities, we should know the importance of service function. Traditionally, many enterprises have considered products separately from services. However, recent years have seen the servitization of products and the productization of services. Servitization is a strategy where enterprises create value by adding services in order to supplement their traditional products. Selling maintenance contracts for capital goods is an example of service being added to the product. Similarly, productization is the evolution of services component to include a product or a new service component marketed as a product. The convergence of these trends is the consideration of a product and a service as a single offering. Enterprises today are moving towards this trend. So you need better tools to serve your customers and retain your customers by keeping the service levels high. With this introduction, I hope you have got an idea on the importance of service function in an enterprise and move ahead with the further slides. Let's see the business value that the new mobile service application is going to add. By using the new mobile service application, enterprises can realize the increase in the productivity of field service engineers by giving them the access to the right and real-time information. And when right information and right resources are available, engineers can perform the task correctly and meet the SLAs. This in turn results in first-time fix rate and increased customer satisfaction. And since the mobile service application is part of LN which comes with a standard integration, there is no need for a third-party application to handle the field service activities. This reduces the time, effort and money for the organization. Now let's discuss the business requirements. Enterprises are looking for a solution to avoid the traditional paper-intensive field service processes and digitalize the same. Since the customer expectations are increasing day by day, it is essential for the enterprises to provide the right information and resources to the field engineers to ensure the first time fix rate. Another key requirement is to get the real-time information from the engineers such as job status, engineers current location data etc. to make informed decisions. Also enterprises are looking for an integrated solution for handling the field service activities rather than going for a third-party solution which can cost a lot of money and integration headache. For this demo, I'll consider a simple use case. The field service engineer should be able to view his assignments in the mobile service app. He should record the materials used for the repair, time consumed for the repair and other costs in the mobile service app. Finally, the engineer must be able to create a visit report and get the sign off from the customer. The visit report is a new topic for the LN users and I will try to give you a brief about it during the demo. We will also see how this information flows seamlessly back into ERPLN. Let's jump into the product now. 
So we have a service order for a 1.5 ton air conditioning unit and the status of the order is free at this moment. The activity that needs to be performed at the customer site with estimated duration details are maintained in the activities tab. Since the field service is a labor intensive activity, the support team has estimated that the activity requires 2.5 hours of labor effort. We can see this in the estimated labor tab. No estimated materials are maintained because the support team do not know what materials will be used to repair the unit. Assume that the support team has assigned this job to me. I can find these details from the assignments tab. Also, an installation and operating instructions document of the air conditioning unit has been attached to this service order so that I can use this document if required when I am at the customer site. Now let's plan and release the service order. When we release the service order in ERPLN, the order is synchronized in the mobile service application. Okay, now let's get into the mobile service application. I am logging into the mobile service app with my credentials. This is the landing page where I can view all the assignments. Using this option, I can quickly change the view to day, month or week view. For now, we will keep the month view. To get my service order assignments into the mobile service app, I am going to receive the assignments manually. This can also be done in an automatic way, but for this demo, I am going to use the manual way. Now I can see my assignment here. So let's open it. On the left hand side, we can see the visit details such as dates, order number, status, the customer logo and the location where we need to perform the service activity. I need to perform unit repair activity. That's what we can see here. The item and serial number of the unit is given here and a picture of the serialized item is available for my quick reference. If I go to the documents option, I can see the installation and operating instructions document which was uploaded in ERPLN by the support team. So I have a handbook to refer if I have any questions to repair the unit. A nice tool, isn't it? Okay, so the first thing that I am going to do is accept this assignment. When I accept this assignment, the activity status changes to accepted. Then I can start the activity. The status of the activity has been changed to started. Now let's open the assignment details to register the labor hours and materials consumption to repair the air conditioning unit. Again here also on the left hand side, there are some important details available such as the item code serial number of the item, description, picture of the serialized item, etc. The hours spent on the service order activity can be registered using this option. The estimated time is defaulted. However, we can modify the same by either using the plus and minus signs or by entering the hours directly in this field. Once the hours are entered, Click this option to confirm the hours. Now let's register some materials. Using this option, we can add the materials that we have consumed to perform the service activity. For our demo, let's assume that I have replaced the air filter. So add the quantity and click on the confirm button. If we move to the travel and other costs option, we can register the other costs incurred to perform the service task. So let's create one record for miscellaneous costs. 
now click on the confirm button in the diagnosis page i can enter the actual problem and solution details so let's enter the actual problem something like unit not working due to air filter damage and the solution as replace the air filter and unit is working good come back to the activities page and hit the stop button the status of the activity changes to stopped using this option we can set the activity status to completed so let's do it when the activity is completed we can't do any changes now we are going to discuss about the visit report which is new for ln users because this doesn't exist in standard erp ln and only available in mobile service app so what is a visit each time an engineer travels to the customer's location for any repair activity it will be called as a visit a visit report can only be prepared after the repair is done so let's move to the report option at this moment we don't see any report here so we need to use this option to create the visit report the total amount that customer needs to pay is shown here if the visit report details are correct then the next thing we need to do is to get the sign off from the customer using this option we can get the sign off from the customer and i can also sign this off so let's do it when we finalize we can't do any changes to the visit report so let's say yes to this message now we are done with the mobile service app related actions let's get back to erp ln and check how the information is updated in ln first thing let's check the materials we have used one air filter for the repair we can see the same in the actual materials tab next thing let's check the labor hours we have registered 4 hours for this repair we can see this in the actual labor hours tab then let's check the other costs as well so we have registered some miscellaneous charges the same is updated here last thing is the assignment status it is completed also if we go to the visit option we can see the visit report which we have just created in the mobile service app now i am going to complete cost and invoice the order if we check the invoice amount this is exactly the same amount which we have seen in the visit report Let's come back to the service order and close it off to complete the full process. The order is closed now. This way, the mobile service can capture the real-time information and sends it back to the backend ERP, which in turn helps the support team or the supervisors to monitor the actual times and take the informed decisions. This takes us to the end of our demo so let's summarize what we have seen discussed and learned Mobile service is an application which is tightly integrated with Infor ERP ln The screens are intuitive and hence it is easy to use The app works with ERP ln 10.4 and above versions Thanks for watching this video I hope you like it if you have any questions leave them in the comment section Subscribe to the channel and never miss an update from Melon Campus.